hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome for those who are new here so the lord placed this on my heart a couple of days ago and i've been grounded for the past few days but i just decided to share this way today since i'm a bit better now and yeah let's talk about obedience so what is obedience by definition obedience is compliance with an order request or just submission to one's authority and i feel like this topic has been a stretch for me in the last four years well since my journey began with the lord as a new believer in christ and yeah so even just making this video today was a bit of a challenge because I feel like I've been working in obedience but I haven't really seen the fruits of my obedience and I had like a moment with the Lord and just be like I really can't do this video because of that like I haven't seen the fruits of my own obedience and the Lord actually just sat me down and just asked me to trust him a little bit more on everything that he has called me so yeah here i am being obedient to what god has instructed me and yeah so i just want to share a little context on the consequences of disobedience i'm sure most people are familiar with the story of jonah and if you're not for context jonah is a hebrew prophet who was instructed by the lord to go to nineveh and proclaim judgment against their sins uh, if they do not repent so once jonah was instructed by this he decided to completely disobey the instruction of the lord and he decided to run away from joppa i think that's how it's pronounced and decided to take on a boat to tashish and on the boat the lord caused a storm and it was so bad that the people that were on the boat with jonah actually those people weren't even like believers of christ but they were like it has to be this person because why is he sleeping in the middle of the storm and once they figured that it was because of Jonah's disobedience that caused the storm, they actually had to throw him out of the boat. And when he was thrown into the boat, a fish swallowed Jonah for three days. And it was when he realized that he could really die. And he recognized that God is God. And he was calling out actually for God to rescue him out of the fish. Once the fish had spit him out he decided to be obedient now to the instruction of the lord and there when he went he was still bitter still because deep down he knew that if he had proclaimed this uh judgment towards them god would be forgiving and if they actually did repent god would forgive him and apparently to him they were so bad that they didn't deserve his forgiveness like god's forgiveness but the instruction wasn't for him to be god to play god the instruction was for him to just talk to them about their sins and if they will repent god will hear them and i take away from the story of jonah is that when we disobey god when we disobey his instructions it's not only us that would be affected by our own disobedience we see that from jonah's disobedience he was on the boat and somebody had to experience that storm because of his disobedience so we don't know actually how our disobedience can affect the people around us but when we obey the same way that it can have our disobedience can affect others in a negative way that is the same way our obedience is also in the same way going to affect positively to the lives of others because your yes is actually tied to someone else's destiny and just like jonah had gone finally to proclaim judgment the ninevites immediately went in fasting and they had to recognize even though jonah's delivery was a bit bitter he still did obey finally and 
they recognize that God is God and they had a reverence of God after they had the realization of their sins and finally they were dead and they made everyone including infants and animals fast just for God to see their repentance and so we also see that through Jonah's obedience the Ninevites they were set free from God's wrath that would have come on them if they didn't obey the word of instruction concerning their sinful ways and for me I've really been learning to walk in obedience I recently learned that disobedience is also a way of idolatry uh, idolatry is i got this definition from tiffany montgomery and she said that idolatry is something you love more than your obedience to god and if you look at it whatever it is that you have chosen over the obedience of god you have made that an idol and god doesn't like idolatry so we, we need to repent from idolatry and i just wanted to share whatever it is that you are being called to do or instructed to do by the lord i feel like it's very important for one to just be in obedience because even scripture says that obedience is better than sacrifice and we see from the story of jonah that in his disobedience a lot of people were affected by it negatively but when he obeyed uh but when he obeyed, we see that there was a lot of positive change to his obedience from the people that he was called to deliver from their evil ways, their wicked ways. So, obedience is better than sacrifice. That's the main... Hi! I feel like one way that the Lord has actually been moving me in ob to walk in obedience is... Uh, a couple of months ago the lord instructed me to end a relationship it wasn't really like we weren't dating but it was someone who was trying to like pursue me in an intentional way but the lord instructed me to end to cut that thing off and for me one thing that i've made a, a vow to with my lord is that i will not date until god gives a yes to this relationship and immediately i thought that maybe this wasn't the right time for me because <laughs> the lord probably saw that i needed a lot of work to do but this guy was very intentional and he seemed very promising but from the surface that's the only thing i could see and god really didn't reveal much to me about him so immediately i actually started praying about it i noticed that we became a bit distant so for me i just thought that the lord was cutting it off because i had prayed requested that if it's not the if this isn't the right time or he wasn't the one then he should end this and we ended communication it was still there but not as consistent as it was before and the second time again months passed by and he started pursuing me again like in a more intentional way and the lord actually was like no end this relationship but to me he kind of seemed like he was everything that i wanted but i guess he wasn't what i needed and the, the second time the lord instructed me to end this i was like no you really have to tell me why because this guy is just giving <laughs> but then the lord in his infinite mercy he actually showed me that we weren't equally yoked and for me i kind of feel like if i hadn't in a way i in a way i was going to lead myself in a road of destruction because the second time he was being more intentional and i just thought that this could be it but then also in the back of my mind i kind of remembered that vow that i made that i wasn't going to date anyone until the lord put a yes to it so i went back to god and after he showed me that we weren't equally yoked i had to reach a point where i was just like the lord is my shepherd i shall not want and yeah so that's how i completely ended that relationship and if there's anything that you can take away from this is that your 
yes or you know to the lord's instruction is tied to someone else's destiny and when we walk in obedience we'll see that eventually the fruit of our obedience will be visible and however way the lord will use your obedience let it be god will still use somebody else if he wants to he can still use somebody else but at the end of the day there will still be consequences to your obedience or your disobedience and yeah and based on my story i feel like god in god's infinite mercy he showed me something that i needed to see because i cried out to god to show me why i needed to walk in obedience of course that won't be the case sometimes for for anybody because the lord can just give you an instruction and be quiet but for me i feel like i really got so my heart that i really needed to walk this path that i've chosen with him which is if at all i'm going to date i will have to date only when the lord is only when the lord puts a yes to it and he saw that i was really interested in this guy but I, my heart was really seeking for god's direction concerning this individual and concerning our relationship because the first time when the lord has said no i could have easily just disobeyed and still went with what what i wanted but for me in my mind i actually gave I gave a reason to God's no, which wasn't even, the, could have been the case that maybe it wasn't the right time for me or it just God was working something inside of me, which could have been true. But then that wasn't even God's reasoning for, for his no, because he saw the future for my life and this guy was unequally yoked with me. and yeah walking in obedience will look different to each and each individual and for me it just hasn't been in the dating area but not so different aspects of my life and i had to learn to walk away from certain situations or opportunities that the lord instructed me to walk away from and in that it just made me uh, learn that not everything good is good for me and walking in obedience is uncomfortable because there's certain times where when the enemy presents you with a counterfeit it looks so good that even when the lord instructs you not to accept or, re or not to accept that particular thing or do something concerning that situation it won't look like it's god because the enemy is trying to blind you to walk in disobedience and yeah it's very uncomfortable but once you sit with the lord i feel like you are able to recognize his voice and the direction that he's leading you in and that requires a lot of practice with just sitting with the lord for a long time and recognizing his voice and his instructions and of course i realized also that uh, many of the decisions that i had to make didn't really make sense to the people around me but for me i have sat long enough with the lord to recognize his voice and his instructions for my life and it almost reached a point where whenever i did something like most people would be like why are you doing that it doesn't make sense and people will question your obedience for the lord but if you know for sure that this is what the lord is instructing you i feel like it's better to just walk in obedience than listen to the voices of others and Sometimes maybe not even share with others what the Lord is instructing you because there will be people who mislead you. You know they have good intentions for you, but they will not understand what the Lord has for you. So I had to let that sink in and just recognize that God has a purpose and a plan for me. And if he's saying no to certain things for me, then he definitely has better things and i feel like i've just reached a point where 
I don't want to know the consequences of my disobedience. Whatever God instructs me, I will do whether I feel like it or not. Because I would rather walk in obedience than know the consequences of my disobedience. If that makes sense. Yeah. I think I say it a lot. But anyway, I just wanted to encourage anybody that if at all you are being instructed to do something, it's better you do it than end up walking a path of destruction that the lord hasn't even directed you to there's so many consequences of your action and obedience is better than sacrifice that is the word and yeah i hope this made sense and i hope it helped somebody to choose a path of obedience and yeah. hope you like share and subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you in my next video bye